So here we have a nice phone with a bunch of modules and the dog also. We can swipe, swipe, swipe out the dog. <laughs> that's the application's processor. So that's the ARM processor right here. The ARM SoC is in the, in the dog. Here you have an ARM SoC um, and this is the application's processor for the phone. Yeah. Uh, this is the camera, so removable camera module. And everything is modular. You can put the modules in different locations. This is a Wi-Fi Bluetooth module. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we have. Um, is it is this uh, uh, kind of like an early prototype, or is it already nice and smooth? This is the, a this is a uh, second stage prototype. It's uh, pretty, pretty nice two. already. The 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 was it going to get even better? It's going though? to get better because there's going to be a lock on the modules at the moment. These are just a slide fit, but there'll be a magnetic lock, uh, and you can see that in the current specifications that are on the Project Ara website. So it could be ARM SOC right here. It could be battery. It could be camera yeah. and a bunch of other stuff. Yes, and then on the front you can take the display off replace that and, and this is a media module for speaker and possibly camera so that's pretty cool uh, I got I get lots of views on, on smartphone videos and this is a pretty cool smartphone this is amazing because um, what it allows is the rate of innovation and differentiation you can you can imagine hardware modules being like apps a small group of users could create a um, could create a, a module for a particular application um, and you'd have hundreds of thousands or millions of phone of potential customers for your new for your new module so it, it really it can potentially uh, show a whole bunch of demonstrate a whole bunch of interesting innovation in the when it in, when it gets released so yeah, if you think about a, if you think about a phone today um, if you've got a new hardware feature you have to convince the phone manufacturer to put it into the next year's model or the year after's model and and those features tend to be features for everybody um, whereas the, the the great thing about ARA is if you've got a hardware innovation as a startup or as an established company you can get it into everybody's hands really quickly um, if you're interested in higher resolution cameras at the moment every year you have to replace your phone just to get a higher resolution camera you'll be able to just replace the camera module. That's really cool. And buy a new SOC every six months. You could do that <laughs> if you wanted to. You can upgrade from the latest to the latest and always just upgrade that part. It's really yeah. awesome. Yeah. And a new display. It's fantastic. Yeah. And uh, you can be a little bit less careful with the display because you just swap a new one in. You could. That's fantastic. So we had the Linara Connect and uh, you, you're the CEO of Linara. Hi. And uh, what is Linaro doing with this project? So Lenaro is one of many companies working for Google on Project Ara. Um, Lenaro is focused on the uh, firmware and the, uh, and the um, software to make uh, the to make Android work with removable modules and to communicate through this bus, which is called Unipro. Um, so if you think about uh, running um, your mobile phone. Um, and you have an application that uses the camera, like uh, Facebook, and you take away the camera, you've got to make sure that the application keeps running. Um, and that if you're using the camera, it then says to the user, you've taken out all your cameras, please put a new one in. So, Linaro and the Linaro guys are, are the best at uh, doing that kind of modification and new kind of uh, tweaks to lin Linux? Well, I think Linaro has a lot of experts in both Linux and the Linux kernel um, and in, in Android. And so um, we are one of the companies uh, in the world that is suited to this, uh, is able to deliver what Google needs for this project. So we're, we're, uh, we have a team um, within Linaro working on Project Ara on the kernel and the changes for, for Unipro. Um, and also on the uh, additions to, to Android to support the unique functionality of the Ara phone. So uh, Project Ara is a, is a project out of uh, Google Innovation Labs? It comes out of a, a group in Google called Google ATAP um, and you can look on the Project Ara website for more information about uh, ATAP and the other, uh, the other 
uh, companies working on the project. So, and there's pretty good progress, huh? It's, it's, it, uh, it seems like uh, people downstairs are hacking away and uh, looks... Uh, pr- well, one of the one of the targets of uh, one of the targets of Lenaro Connect uh, this time uh, has been to bring the entire ARA project team together so that we can get um, uh, make progress on getting developer boards out to the developer community to enable them to start designing their own modules. And again, if you look at the Project ARA website, you can download a um, module developers kit that gives you all the information on how to design and make and build modules. And I, I think, uh, uh, so there's a Marvel has announced, and I think Rockchip also, there's going to be a bunch of different ARM SOCs supported, so it's very relevant with, to Lenaro. Yes, so uh, one of the great things about R is it, it, is it enables choice, and there will be a number of, we expect a number of different modules for every function, and then we expect functions that we haven't even thought about today. So um, from fingerprint sensors, security devices, Um, medical devices, the, the, the possibilities are endless.